Shane Duffy bringing the ball up towards the halfway line for Norwich City. Looks for Huang, can't get there. And launched forward by Plymouth. Awkward one for Gibson to deal with, but he does get his head to it. Plymouth return it forward there, and it's broken towards Morgan Whitaker, who's in the penalty area here for Plymouth. Shoots low, and it's in! Plymouth have the lead at home, Bart! And the Norwich defence just seemed to switch off there as the ball was played forward. It was three against three. Morgan Whitaker carefully brought the ball into the penalty area. Finished low, precise finish into the corner of the net, and Norwich City go behind. Plymouth one, Norwich City nil. Right-hand side there for Plymouth. Finn Azaz is going to take it. Rolls it short to Morgan Whittaker. Azaz then goes on the overlap. He will cross from the right-hand side dangerously. Oh, it's hit the bar! And then it's put in at the second attempt. And Plymouth go 2-0 up with a really well-worked set-piece. The first ball into the box. Thumped off the crossbar. The second one fell to the defender, Scar, who was unmarked. And Dan Scar plants that ball beyond Angus Gunn. And it is all Plymouth at the moment. Plymouth Argyle 2, Norwich City 0. Now Plymouth have just cleared the ball upfield and Ryan Hardy might get there ahead of Duffy. No, Duffy's just done enough to force Hardy wide, but he's not put the ball out of play and Hardy has now picked it up and plays the ball to Whitaker. Edge of the penalty area, Whitaker's shot, 3-0! Norwich City were on the attack, they've been done on the counter. Again, poor defending and Morgan Whitaker scores his second of the game and Norwich City are all over the place here at Home Park. They've got such a lot to do from here. Plymouth are putting them to the sword. First half stoppage time, it's Plymouth Argyle 3, Norwich City 0, and it's another poor goal to give away. be another one yet before half time because Plymouth are on the attack over halfway again Hardy has played the ball up, up towards the left edge of the penalty area here come Plymouth again and it's Finazaz who's got the shot in it's a fourth it's a fourth goal for Plymouth Norwich City are falling apart in front of our very eyes Plymouth have struck twice in first half stoppage time and that was a similar goal Norwich had the ball in the Plymouth half but it didn't take much for Plymouth to accelerate over the halfway line Finazaz has the ball in the penalty area he was allowed to keep it for a long, long time, weigh up his options and slide it past Angus Gunn. And there are stunned faces away to our right-hand side. It is Plymouth Argyle 4, Norwich City 0, and we've not reached half-time yet. Warshaw playing the ball forward. Been picked up there by Plymouth. Here comes Hardy. A Plymouth counter attack. They look dangerous every time they do this. Finazaz on the edge of the penalty. Plays across Whitaker for the hat trick. There it is. Hat trick Morgan Whitaker. Five for Plymouth Argyle. It's uh, a demolition in Devon for Norwich City. Plymouth are just biding their time. And when they get the opportunity, they're picking Norwich off. And Whitaker, who missed the chance for a hat trick a moment ago, gets it this time. We've still got more than half an hour of this game to go. And it is Plymouth Argyle five, Norwich City nil. City are really, really struggling in this game. McLean on to Sarah. Sarah with a lovely slide rule pass here towards Eda from the edge of the penalty. Eda's shot. He's got a goal for Norwich City. It's barely celebrated. There are a few cheers from the 1,600 fans behind the goal. 
It's come with Norwich 5-0 down, it's pulled it back to 5-1, but for what it's worth, that was a really, really well-taken goal from Adam Eder, played through by Sarah, finishing from the angle, lovely finish. It's going to be too little, far too late, but 5-1 the score, Adam Eder has got his goal. Shaw for Norwich, gets the ball to the right-hand side and Jack Stacey. Bueno Hernandez, with a big uh, bandage on his left wrist, taking on Barley Mumba, getting past Barley Mumba, it's good from Onel Hernandez. Oh, gone down in the penalty area there, has he? Yes, penalty! Norwich have been given a penalty, clumsy... Oh, no, there's no need for that. Onel Hernandez then, having won the penalty, goes into the face of Barley Mumba and says something, which he doesn't need to do, he does not need to get involved like that, Onel Hernandez. Here comes Adamida with the right foot, tucks it away nicely. That's a really good penalty from Adam Ida, and he has scored two goals here, with Norwich having been 5-0 down. Ida has taken both goals, he's finished both goals brilliantly. Plymouth 5, Norwich City 2. And actually, if anyone is emerging with this with any credit, it is Adam Ida, the man who all the question marks are about before the game. left-hand side. Sarah's going to aim it into the penalty area. High delivery, too high for Duffy, it's headed away. Kessler Hayden on the edge of the penalty area will allow Finazaz to take over, the two youngsters on loan from Aston Villa, and now it's spread over the halfway line and Bundu, the substitute, is full of running and he's got two players in the penalty area, we can find one of them, this could be goal number six! It is goal number six! And it's Kundal, the substitute, who sprinted up the other end of the pitch to get on the end of that cross. And the humiliation is complete now for Norwich City. Any game in which you concede six goals is a bit of an embarrassment, and that's the way it's gone this afternoon down here in Devon. Norwich City were pushing to try and restore a bit of pride, but they've been done on the counter-attack, not for the first time. And uh, with the game almost up in the seventh minute of stoppage time, the big screen opposite us with the score on says it all. Plymouth 6, Norwich City 2.